Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and today I have for you my Beginner's Look Project Pan. So this is a collaboration project with the wonderful Wacky World of Lottie, the wonderful Laura Bollum and the wonderful Sparkly Princess Lynette. I will link as always their videos for you down below. Please do go check them out, give them lots of support, tell them that I sent you. Um, they're a lovely bunch of ladies and I am really enjoying doing this project pan with them. So let's get on with our third update. So this is a seven month project pan being updated on the seventh of every month. And we are trying to pan or use seven items. So um, we can be aiming to use the products all up. We can be aiming to hit pan on something or some of us are just trying to get use out of products that we have barely touched before this project. Any goal is a goal and it is all good here. So this month I have one empty and that one is my French product so which is really good because now I don't have to keep trying to butcher the French language. It is the um, the Theory des Vulcans Noir Eterne and it's basically a mask scrub. So this came out of a glossy box, I think. And um, it's basically a mask, which you apply, leave on for a few minutes. And then, um, and then when you take it off, you exfoliate it off your skin. Um, and that's how it's a mask scrub. So, I mean, it was nice and I really, really did like it, but this little tube is quite expensive. And also, I don't know where I would repurchase this from other than maybe, I don't know, I do glossy box sell this? I don't know. I'm not with glossy box anymore. So it was nice. And if I saw a mask scrub product in the shops, like Superdrug or Boots or something like that in the future, I might pick one up because I really did enjoy it. Um, but as for this product, I probably won't repurchase it. Well, definitely won't repurchase it because I don't know where to. And it's quite an expensive product too. So yeah, but that is all up and out of my collection. So let's go on to the products that I've just had progress on. The first one is my hair serum. So this is Avon's Nourishing Hair Serum. It is with Moroccan Argan Oil. And um, I hope you can see all of my um, points here. So this top line was where I started. And so this line here is where I am now. Um, I literally just apply this into my damp hair after washing my hair. Um, I will apply just one pump onto my fingers, rub it in and then like scrunch it through my hair, not onto my scalp because I don't want an oily scalp. Um, but I scrunch it into my hair, especially at the ends because I do have long hair that gets very dry at these ends. So I will just scrunch it in and then uh, brush through and then blow dry my hair. And yeah, my hair's feeling nice and soft and lovely. So yeah, really thoroughly enjoying using that. I actually have another one of these, I think, in my cupboard. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. And um, as I say, I do have another one, so I'm not gonna run out anytime soon. But yeah, I, I will probably keep using a hair serum like this for many months to come because um, some hair products that I've tried in the past, like heat protection sprays and things like that that I used to get from Birchbox, they used to leave my hair crunchy and crispy no matter how much I tried to like work them into my hair. Um, but this hair oil is so much nicer. It doesn't make my hair um, greasy um, because I don't use too much of it. Um, it literally is just one pump throughout the whole of my hair. Um, so it doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy. Um, it doesn't leave my hands feeling too greasy either. Um, once I've applied it, I just give them a, a rub over. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying um, 
the results of it. Nice soft hair. Nice. Uh, the next item I've had progress on is my Nails Ink nail polish. So this is in the shade Horse Ferry Road. It is a black nail polish and my original thought was to use this for stamping. I haven't. I've just been rocking a black um, nail polish look, um, which I thoroughly love. I know a woman my age maybe shouldn't, but... <clears throat> I don't care. I, I love the look of black nails. Um, so I am now down to here. So that is about halfway. Um, yeah, I think um, I think I'm going to be rocking a darker nail uh, much more often because I really love this. I really, really love this. I know we're coming into spring and maybe dark colours are not going to be correct for the season, but it goes with my mood rather than the season so that's how I paint my nails how am I feeling today do I feel bright and sunny or do I feel dark and moody and that's how I paint my nails I haven't got anything on at the moment because I've literally just took this off um so depending on how I feel afterwards I'm looking at my storage drawers over there um I don't know what color do you think I should go um okay so the next item i have some progress on is my lip liner i am wearing it today under my uh lips not under my lips how do you wear anything ignore me um so this is a makeup revolution lip liner and that is all i have left if you want to do a comparison it is i'm not counting this bit at the end because i wouldn't be able to sharpen that but it is approximately the same size as the lid. You can see that there. So that is the comparison. It's definitely been used a lot more than it was last month. I love this colour. Um, so yeah, that's, that's going to be an empty next month. I can practically see it. Um, and then the final product in this project pan is my Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Permanent Taupe. I use this as an eyeshadow base for when I'm doing a dark eyeshadow look. So that is where I am now. Now my progress on this has slowed down somewhat because over the last month I've kind of been wanting to wear a much more brighter eye look, she says, wearing greens. Um, but because I've been wanting to wear more brighter colours, I haven't been using this as an eye base because this darkens the eye colour. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, I use, I use this one for when I'm wanting a darker eye look. I'll use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk for when I want to do a brighter eye look. So yeah, it's kind of like... Just depends on what eye look I'm creating, depends on um, whether I use this or not. So I'm not going to use this excessively just because it's in a project pan. I'm going to use it when I need to, but yeah, so that's getting steady progress. So that is all of my products. I have four left. I do believe that the lip pencil will be finished next month and possibly um, very close to finishing the nail polish as well. The hair serum and the Maybelline colour tattoo will probably keep going for a while yet. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe as always and I will see you in the next video.